Hey, hey, everybody! Merry Christmas! Iti Wan Sammy, King of Gangnam, Gangnam Sammy, coming to you with these special holiday greetings to you, everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you do. Uh, it is Christmas time in Korea. What does that mean? We're going to talk today about what is it like to celebrate Christmas in Korea. Happy Holidays, everyone! All right. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, it is my birthday. Christmas Day is my birthday. This video is coming up the next day on the 26th of December 2021. I don't even remember what year it is. It's been such a long year with COVID and everything. Finally coming to an end. Um, I got another video coming up later this month about my retirement plans. Uh, 75 days left. This was my last Christmas in Korea, uh, kind of muted because of the COVID rules, but we're going to talk about that. We're just going to talk about what do Koreans do at Christmas? Is it a holiday? First of all, I want to thank everyone out there who is watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. I am seeing an upswing of people, of new friends, of uh, new subscribers and I'm really appreciative of everyone who does like and subscribe and share please help me get my channel out there if you can just click the like button I would really really appreciate it think of it as a birthday present Christmas present for me thank you anyway Korean Christmas wow it is a very strange creature for us in North America Christmas is a huge huge holiday only Thanksgiving and Mother's Day are, are bigger. Uh, Christmas is more of a gift-giving kind of holiday in the West. Office parties, family parties, friend parties, that kind of thing. Uh, especially those who have children. There is the Christmas moving to family to family to family. Especially if you're married. You got the wife's family and you got the husband's family. It's huge. Um... <clears throat> and the shopping it's just it starts right after Thanksgiving um, or Halloween it's two months of shopping and it's one of the biggest retail uh, events in the West they set their financial goals based on it in Korea it's 50 50 from a corporate retail side yes it's huge for them too from a personal family side, not so much. Christmas is not a huge family holiday for the Korean people. Office workers, they they do have the they have what's they have a holiday celebration. Do they take vacation? 50-50. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Yesterday was more of a couple's day couples go out and celebrate because it's time away from their family and work families don't really celebrate Christmas today's young children yes they they get into that Santa's coming to bring me present type thing but your average person older you know post university not really they don't go to see the family they don't go to <clears throat> Christmas events or anything like that. If you've got children, yes, obviously. But if you're 26 working, you don't go home. Um, you'll go out on a date or you'll go visit your friends and hang out because it's a day off work. Um, and here's the other thing is, is that Christmas fell on a Saturday this year. Monday is not a holiday. We don't do that here in Korea. We don't move the Christmas holiday to Monday to give a day off. If it's Saturday, that's your day off. If it's Monday, that's your day off. You do get Christmas as a day off, but if it falls on Saturday, no. Um, not a lot of things were closed though. Shopping, everything, except for offices. Obviously, well, it was a Saturday. But I have found that um, uh, 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 um, most places are open on Christmas Day. There's less crowded, again, because when I went out last night, 
it was predominantly foreigners while I was in Itaewon because I knew that if I went to uh, Gangnam, it would be nobody because or it would be all couples. And the people that I invited to meet up with were all in Itaewon. So me and my friends just hung out and had fun time. Um, yeah, it was great, but it's muted. Um, and the, the, the very funny thing is, is that just like in Japan, it, I found this strange because I spent Christmas one year in Japan and KFC is huge. To buy KFC on Christmas is a huge deal. They have lineups. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, lineups out the door. I'm not talking 10, 20 people, hundreds of people. And they have preset boxes set up outside so people can come and just grab it, pay their money and walk away. Huge lineups for this chicken. It's not that bad in Korea, but they still have that set by the, the set and go home and enjoy. Not just KFC, but all of the chicken places try to cash in on that. But KFC is huge. It's very funny for me to see being, you know, from Canada, even here after 13 years. But those are the unique, strange things that go on here. Um, today as well is a Sunday, so you will find couples out going ice skating, going walking, going to see the Christmas lights at the different places. There is a Christmas tree um, uh, set up in the city hall at the shopping mall. One of the big uh, malls up by Seoul Station, Shinsegae, has a huge light display. Uh, Chonggichong has all its lights lit up, uh, but it is muted, trying to be less to uh, avoid uh, social gatherings due to COVID. But it's still there. Um, <clears throat> uh, just to touch on the COVID thing, it's uh, everything closes at 9 p.m. Private gatherings are limited to four people, vaccinated or not. Uh, everything closes at 9 p.m. until January 2nd, and the government is 90% going to extend it. The numbers have kind of come down, but that's maybe just because it's the holidays and there's no testing. But I assume the government's going to run it until the 15th and then decide again to probably extend it till February because we have the New Year, Lunar New Year holiday coming up at the end of January, beginning of February, which is the big holiday here in Korea. There's two big holidays, Korean Thanksgiving, Chuseok, and Asian New Year which happens in February, or first week of February. Two huge holidays, people traveling, the whole country travels. Uh, in October, you travel to your uh, hometown to celebrate with your family and visit your, your relatives and, and, and uh, 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 ancestors, your, your past ancestors' graves, which is usually in your hometown. So travel is huge. And in Solal, which is Asian New Year, is uh, uh, watching the sunrise and spending with family, welcoming in the New Year. It also happens on December 31st. A lot of people will go to the uh, East Coast to watch the sunrise and welcome in the New Year. It's very uh, symbolic. A lot of my Korean friends have invited me to go. Don't know if I'm going to do it because it's not that big of a deal for me. But because this is my last year in Korea, my last three months, I think I'm going to maybe go to Sokcho or Jeju and um, participate in this uh, event. First time for doing it. If I go, you'll be there with me. Anyway, I want to thank again everyone for watching, liking, subscribing. Please subscribe below. Hit the bell to know every time I post a new video. Uh, and like, comment. Please comment. I com reply on every single comment. If you look, I reply on every single one because my channel's small. <laughs> Don't know if I can do that if I get thousands, but I hope so. I hope to do that one day, okay? You Tim Wan Sammy, King of Kang Kangnam, wishing you all a very joyous and happy holiday. Love you all. You Tim Wan Sammy, I'm out.